In the event that we wipe out the lines, the most hypnotizing star I acknowledge is the star that could be astonishing in our sky. It is this one, bug press or scarab crush. It's a red monster star, and on the remote probability that you put it where the sun is, it would extend to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous, entirely flighty, and going to detonate. It's not as clear as it has all the earmarks of being in the universe. These giant events, like the most absurdly dreaded enormous starbursts, could shake all that we see. Moreover, try not to see its center. In any case, Betelgeuse has been viewed as a sign, a red, very giant star that is ordinarily more significant than our sun. Brian Cox and other space experts figure it could go supernova at the point when people are generally alarmed by what will happen, since the James Webb Space Telescope is taking stunning photos of the star. When precisely will Betelgeuse become a supernova, and how titanic an impact will it have on Earth? Let us figure out a star in the superb body Orion that shines so brightly that even people from a long while ago have seen it. The wonderful star, Scarab Juice, is located on the eastern shoulder of the constellation Orion. Scarab Juice is the second largest star in the constellation. Its name comes from this element, the beast shoulder. It is possibly one of the most brilliant stars in the night sky. On top of being remarkably brilliant, the star is also an odd shade of red which, as we will see, suggests trouble. We've had some tremendous experience with bug juice for a long time. A Greek examiner named TMY also focused on it. Around that time, the primary thing individuals recognized about stars was their variety. TMY said that it was a to-alarm minimal creature juice, orange in color. Researchers have been concentrating on the star much more intently lately, and now they have a brilliant idea of what works, making it so curiously bright. One of these characteristics is that the star changes brilliance a lot, with an evident size of 0.6. Bug juice is a variable star, which means that its brightness changes over time. Recently, specialists have discovered some new data about the star. In 2019, investigators initially saw that bug juice was acting peculiarly. In spite of the way that scarab juice didn't thoroughly stop sparkling, it wasn't the same. It had become substantially less bright, shining at a degree of around 1.6. Experts rapidly started to investigate why they were seeing the 10th most brilliant star above in this whimsical way. Examiners needed to offer an astonishing explanation in light of their research, which revealed bizarre signs from the star. As indicated by their discoveries, Betelgeuse could go supernova at any second. Brian Cox, an eminent researcher, shared this remarkably perilous explanation. As a prominent professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Cosmology, you shouldn't take his perspective as a joke. He also has a science show, writes popular science books, and is the Royal Society Professor for Public Engagement with Science. Brian Cox says that bug juice seems to be a ticking delayed bomb since it could go off without advance notice to deteriorate what is going on. The James Webb Space Telescope has shown an epic amount of proof to back up this explanation. In any case, what unconventional signs has scarab juice given that have caused so much trouble in space science? With the new data about bug juice, the star has been named a supernova candidate. However, researchers are still uncertain when it will detonate. The fact that terrifying little creature juice is almost twice the mass of the sun is one explanation for this categorization. A star, as they say, should be several times the mass of the sun to be known as a supernova. Things get really interesting, however, because examiners have utilized various tools to investigate scarab juice. For instance, the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory to see what's going on in space around scarab juice. What they found is still a mystery. It was born on August 31st, a really long time ago. Around that time, the starbug juice obviously offered strange hints that made its future unclear. What did they find? Well, they could get curious light waves coming from the star or over scarab juice, which is extremely curious. However, it wasn't the only thing specialists saw from the star. This takes us back to the possibility that scarab juice is a star whose brightness changes from time to time. It was said that terrifying little creature juice darkened down at regular intervals and had dark spots, similar to our sun. Today, however, the conditions are different. It changes from bright to dim two times as quickly as it used to, which is another surprising sign that scarab juice is back. 
researchers tracked down that the star's dimming cycle had hit a band of splendor of plus 1.61 in February 2021. This was not long after the enormous darkening event. Review how the star appeared to dim in a strange way in 2019. That's because it's usually known as the Great Dimming. We could see that the Great Dimming was the beginning of Betelgeuse's abnormal behavior, which made many people worry that Betelgeuse was going to detonate. The range of dimming was 1.2 between 2019 and 2020, and the most reduced level of dimming ever recorded was in 2019. So, specialists were sure that dreadful creepy juice would go supernova in the next 100,000 years because of the outstanding dimming. There is a segment happening in the universe, so this is really startling. Researchers rapidly adjusted their viewpoints. However, when they saw what occurred next, bug juice got brighter again after the unimaginable darkening, and it changed into something considerably more striking. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says that the star is now 150% more brilliant than normal, making it the seventh brightest star above. Researchers were terrified when they saw a red glow in the southern part of the sky. Today, it still gets more interesting because this has led to various considerations about what caused the great dimming. First, it's important to note that not all stars have the red glow of Betelgeuse. The red glow of Betelgeuse means that it's a red supergiant star, which is the last stage of a star's life and death. The red glow, on the other hand, is caused by a surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, which is much cooler than the outer layer of the sun, which is 5,500 Kelvin. Since bug juice is cooler than our sun, it radiates less energy per unit of surface area despite the fact that it is more significant and will detonate. Now, we ought to examine what the extraordinary darkening looked like. Brian Cox asks, does it really mean that bug juice will go supernova? In reality, the fact that scarab juice is a red supergiant already illustrates that it is nearly finished with its life as a star. A star that is dying will also frequently faint over time, which is something that researchers pick up. However, bug juice's new astonishing behavior has made specialists much more focused. Moreover, many telescopes are now focusing on the extraordinary darkening. Still, things get even more intriguing since specialists don't have a profound understanding of creepy crawly juice. Researchers are now using the most cutting-edge devices to watch out for the captivating things occurring around Betelgeuse. The James Webb Space Telescope has been one of the best tools researchers have used so far. Since 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in space and has helped researchers gain a lot of valuable information about scarab juice. The new photos of Betelgeuse's remarkable darkening, taken by this telescope, have shown that the event caused a huge mass ejection. Based on new analysis, we now know that this mass launch was around 400 billion times greater than a typical coronal mass ejection. The James Webb Space Telescope can also look at things that our eyes can't see, like light waves and frequencies. Subsequently, researchers are excited about what the telescope will find. Researchers have seen dust clouds forming on the star's surface that seem to resemble leaves in space. That doesn't seem to make sense, but in spite of the fact that Betelgeuse will die, researchers are still looking out for it since they don't know when it will go supernova. Researchers believe that scarab juice is ordinarily more significant than the sun and that the brilliant red star will shine for the next 10 years. However, if we check the many peculiar things happening with the star, it's difficult to say if this statement will still be true after the extraordinary dimming. So, specialists don't think scarab juice will detonate anytime soon. If Betelgeuse explodes, it will be the first supernova we witnessed for ourselves since Johannes Kepler did in 1604. Specialists also don't believe that this should happen soon because they are still paying attention to the star's unusual behavior. Notwithstanding the fact that Betelgeuse will make scientists certain, when precisely it will occur remains a secret. If we separate the universe without bias, quite possibly one of the most captivating stars, and perhaps the most astonishing in our sky, is Scarab Juice. Frequently referred to as Scarab Squeeze, this red monster star, whenever set where the sun is, would extend to Jupiter's orbit. This incredibly huge, unsteady star is on the edge of an impact. The universe doesn't work in such direct terms. B. Izar cosmic systems like supernova events have the potential to completely disrupt our viewpoint, a thought that may likely happen. However, 
While the possibility of Betelgeuse going supernova looms, scientists are still working to understand the exact timeline of its demise. As researchers continue to gather data from the most advanced space telescopes, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope, they remain cautious about predicting an imminent explosion. Despite the star's unusual behavior, including the mysterious dimming and brightening cycles, there's no certainty about when Betelgeuse will finally reach the end of its life. Some speculate that it could still take tens of thousands of years before the star detonates, but others believe that it may happen much sooner, possibly within the next few years or even months. The unprecedented data gathered by these powerful telescopes, along with the star's erratic behavior, has kept scientists on edge. They are carefully monitoring the situation, using every tool at their disposal to detect any subtle changes that might indicate a supernova is on the horizon. When Betelgeuse does finally explode, it will send shockwaves through the universe, releasing an immense amount of energy. The explosion will briefly outshine the entire galaxy, visible even from Earth, as bright as the full moon. While this event will be a spectacular cosmic display, it will not pose a direct threat to Earth, as the star is located over 600 light years away. However, the supernova will provide a valuable opportunity for scientists to study the final stages of a massive star's life and the phenomena associated with such a violent event. Betelgeuse's impending demise is not just a scientific curiosity. It is a reminder of the vastness and unpredictability of the universe. Stars like Betelgeuse play a critical role in the life cycle of galaxies, enriching the cosmos with the elements needed for new stars, planets, and potentially life itself. The death of such a star is not an end but rather a transformation, as it releases heavy elements that will eventually seed new stellar systems. In the meantime, scientists continue to observe Betelgeuse and its behavior, piecing together the puzzle of its future. With every new discovery, the mystery deepens, and our understanding of the universe expands. Perhaps, in the coming years, we will witness one of the most extraordinary events in the cosmos Betelgeuse's transformation from a massive red supergiant into a breathtaking supernova. Until then, the sky will remain a canvas of wonder, with Betelgeuse shining brightly, a reminder of the fleeting nature of life in the universe.